Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 111, and today we're gonna to talk about improving your daily habits. So please stick around for a few quick words from our sponsor and we'll get right into the show. Okay, so before we get into today's topic, whenever I do an episode that's not a frugal topic, I like to always add a frugal tip of the week just to keep a little bit of a frugal aspect to each episode. So this week's frugal tip of the week is to try using um, bouillon cubes or granules instead of canned or boxed broth for recipes. Um, So like for example, if um, you're gonna use a recipe that calls for like a half a cup of chicken broth or even a cup of chicken broth or whatever, and you have to open a whole can or you open a box, that might then go bad if you don't wind up using the rest of it. Um, You could wind up wasting. food in that way, which costs money. And then even in addition to that though, just buying the um, bouillon cubes or granules is so much cheaper anyway, you just have to add your own water to it. Um, So I just, it's some way I always, I found to save a little bit and it just seems super convenient because I just always pretty much have it on hand. So that's my frugal tip of the week. So today I wanted to talk about improving your daily habits and the reason that um, I wanted to do this is because I felt like I needed some motivation in improving my habits right now. So that was kind of what made me want to do another habit episode. I've done, I think, two other habit episodes, but it's definitely something I like to talk about periodically. So with habits, as I'm sure you all know, it's easy to develop bad habits, but it's really hard work to form good habits. And unfortunately, it's easy for them to slip away if you have a change in routines or anything that makes it difficult to stick with them. That doesn't seem to happen with bad habits. They just always seem to stay. But the good ones, even once you develop them into what they call a habit, where you're supposed to just automatically do it, um, it's definitely easier for them to kind of get lost with a change in your routines or whatever is going on in your life. I've heard... Like when I've listened to some habit forming books and things like that, I've heard it, uh, you know, building habits compared to things like brushing your teeth, like you brush your teeth every day without even thinking about it. Um, you can turn these things into habits and then do this, do them in the same way where just like brushing your teeth, like you don't even think about it. So I think that can be true in some cases, but I don't really fully buy that. I think it's, it's much more difficult to build habits for things that you really want to do but aren't as necessary as something like brushing your teeth each day. Because brushing your teeth each day isn't really an option, but eating healthier is an option. So, you know, it's not like something is urgent. So I don't necessarily believe that it's that easy to build it where it's that much of a routine, but you definitely can um, build, make make these um, new things that you wanna do habits, but they're definitely easier to let slide than something like brushing your teeth that they sometimes try and compare it to um, if things aren't going exactly as planned. So, um, you know, I just wanted to point out that it is hard to, to build habits and, Um, When you're successful at building and sticking to a new good habit, you want to make sure you give yourself credit for it. And don't go crazy and try and add a bunch of new habits at once because it'll burn you out. Just pick one or two that are the most important to you. And that way you can really just focus on those. So um, some tips on how to kind of try and, like tools, I guess, to try and stick to your habits. Um, One is using a habit tracker. I had a a whole separate episode, I think, I'm pretty sure I have a whole separate episode earlier on um, specifically on habit tracking. So habit tracking is really just when you use some mechanism to track your progress on how many days in a row or weeks in a row or whatever the habit is, um, how often you complete that habit so that you can kind of see your success and how long you're doing it. Um, So I use... Um, an app called Strides. I use the free version. Um, The free version does limit you on how many habits you can track at once. And when I first got it, I thought that I was going to want to upgrade to the full version so I could put as many habits in there as I want because I was like really going crazy about all these different habits I wanted to track. Um, But I didn't wind up doing that because I realized that it's really not good to be tracking a whole ton of habits at once because it just gets overwhelming and then 
I kind of liked it where I had a smaller number and then I was able to actually have days where I could complete them all and I'd be really excited because I got um, all of my habits done for that day or for that week or whatever. I had certain ones that were daily, um, certain ones that would be like so many times per week or I had things like, um, I had one that was just like three times per month, like to make it a point to sit down and like play a board game with my kids or whatever. So it was like a monthly goal. Um, so it was like three times a month I want to sit and like make it a point to sit down and like play a board game or play cards or whatever with the kids. But it was nice when I could like complete all of them. So I never did wind up upgrading and paying the money because first of all, it was super expensive for the, for the non-free version. Like I think it was like $80 or something, but it was like a lifetime membership. Um, they might have had something cheaper than that. I don't remember. But anyway, I just... Once I kind of started using it, the free version, I really didn't think it was necessary to need to be able to track more than I was tracking. Um, you can also do this on pen and paper. I mean, you can just put like a chart on the wall with your habits that you want to do and maybe put the days of the week across and then just put like a little check mark or whatever when you do it just so you can see um, that you're making progress. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying in the app, you can do um, the, the app that I use and there's many habit tracking apps, I'm sure. Um, but it's just kind of fun because you could set up your habits that you're trying to track and you can put them in, like like I said, you could put in some that are like once a day or maybe four times a week or whatever. And it allows you to see streaks. So like it's kind of fun. Like it'll be like, you did this habit, you know, four times, uh, in four days in a row or whatever, if it's like a daily habit or, you know, it's just kind of fun to see um, that progress. But um, so when the new year began, I, had, I was really consistently using this app and I was constantly checking it and at the end of the day I would try and check was there anything I didn't do yet and I would try and make sure I did it because I wanted to complete all of the habits that were in there um, before they were due and I was super into it and then COVID hit <laughs> and all my habit tracking went out the window because everything just changed and I got out of all of my habits and I just completely sort of forgot about the app. I never even went into it anymore. So now I'm trying to, I'm really trying to get back um, into this um, habit tracking app and using it more often. So what I'm trying to do is um, when I go, because it's on my phone, the app's on my phone. So when I go into my phone, I'm trying to develop one new habit outside of the habit tracker app which is to just make it a habit of going to that app first. Like if I have to go into my phone, well, don't, not have to, but like say if I'm just going to my phone to check email or to check Facebook or whatever, check banking or whatever I'm doing, I'm trying to make it a habit that when I open up my phone, the first thing I click on is my habit tracker. That way, if um, I see something on there that I haven't done yet, I'll be prompted to do it because if it's, if I'm not clicking on it, I don't always necessarily remember um, to make sure I'm doing those things. So it's just kind of a good motivator. Um, so I've been doing it for the last few days now, um, and I really feel like it's motivating me to keep on track because I do love checking the things off, and I do want to meet all my habit goals um, each day, but I need to get back into the habit of clicking into the app so that I'll be reminded of the things I need to be working on. So that's what I'm kind of trying to do. Um, to get myself back to build these habits that I was trying to work on earlier in the year before everything went crazy. Um, another method, which I also have a separate episode on, is um, habit stacking. So habit stacking is basically a method of forming a new habit by attaching um, the new habit that you want to build to a habit that you already have. So like say for example, you might say, okay, well, every morning when I get dressed, I'm going to take out food for dinner. Like I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to go right to the freezer immediately and get something out for dinner. So that way I don't forget. Or maybe um, a new habit could be when I eat lunch every day, I'm going to sort through my emails at that time. I'm going to clean out my inbox and make sure everything's gone through and I see what things I might need to address. So it's kind of like you're taking something that you already do every day and tagging something immediately to it um, and it's so it, so basically by doing the first habit it will automatically remind you okay now it's time to do the next so um, that's that's a, like a pretty popular method of um, 
of adding new habits. And then it's called habit stacking because you're stacking a habit to a, a habit that already exists. And then you can continue to build on that. Um, you know, like you might say, okay, um, I'm gonna get dressed, then I'll take out dinner, then I'm gonna um, load the dishwasher. You know what I mean? Like you can kind of build these habits into strings. And then as you do that, it definitely gets easier to just go through the motions and get those things done because you become used to the routine of just doing those things one right after another and you can build habits in that way. So that's habit stacking. Um, another one that I just saw that I thought was kind of interesting um, was called using comfort triggers. I hadn't really seen or heard of that term before. I mean, I, I understand the concept. I've heard the concepts before, um, but I hadn't heard it called using comfort triggers. But like, for example, um, a comfort trigger might be, say you have like um, a favorite YouTube channel that you like to watch, um, or maybe you have like a favorite podcast that you really just love to listen to, or an audio book or whatever that you really want to hear. You attach that comfort um, trigger to a habit that you're trying to build. Like say you wanna uh, walk on the treadmill every morning. Well, you say, okay, I'm gonna listen to my favorite podcast or my favorite, or watch my favorite YouTube channel every day while I walk on the treadmill. So it's like that comfort is the, that thing that you really enjoy and you were, you're attaching it to walking on the treadmill. So you kind of make it like an enjoyable experience which makes you look forward to it and more likely to get the habit done each day. Um, another example might be um, maybe like if you have a new daily cleaning habit that you're trying to do, maybe each morning you want to go into the kitchen and make sure you like maybe clean up anything that might have happened late at night after you did the dishes or you know maybe people made snacks or someone was preparing lunch in the morning and didn't fully clean up or whatever. Um, you know, maybe uh, you want to build a new habit to kind of straight, re-straighten up the kitchen in the morning and just make sure it's all nice and neat and clean and everything's wiped down. You could make a, you could attach a comfort trigger to that, which might be to have like um, a favorite coffee or tea or like some kind of favorite drink so that it's kind of like, it makes it kind of fun. Like, you know, like I know I do that actually in the morning when I load the dishes. Um, that wasn't like a new habit I was building, but it just kind of makes it fun where I'll be like, I make a nice coffee every morning. So like, I'm like, okay, let me get my iced coffee. And then I start unloading the dishes and it just kind of makes it into like a nice experience, even though it's something that's not necessarily fun or enjoyable. Um, so it's kind of attaching things like that to new habits to make them a little bit more of an enjoyable experience. And then, you know, um, also, you, you have to try and find some way to remind yourself of the habit you're trying to build to keep yourself motivated. Because you know how, I, I don't know, like I know what happens with me a lot is I'll get up in the morning and I'll be like, okay, today is a new day. I'm gonna do all these habits. I'm gonna stick with everything. And I'm like super motivated and, I, motivated and I feel like nothing is gonna stop me from doing all these things that I wanna do. And then things happen in the day and you get busy and you know things come up that you didn't expect and you're running here or you're running there or you're doing this task or you know who knows what comes up and you lose that motivation that you had um, just because it's not on your mind so if you can try and find ways to remind yourself that you really want to stick to these things um, it can help bring you back and, and kind of say like okay when do I have time to get this in and kind of keep it more on your mind so that you can make a better effort to work on those habits the best that you can depending on what's going on that day. Um, I used to do this by putting reminders on my phone, but honestly for me, it, that didn't really work that well because it got to the point where I would see the reminder, it'd go off every day and I'd just be like, oh yeah, well, whatever, and I would just click it off. <laughs> because after like the first couple times, I'd be like, oh yeah, I gotta do that. But then once I would have the same reminder pop every single day, it was just kind of meaningless to me and I would just kind of click it off and move on. But that might work for you, it just didn't work for me. Um, Another um, way you might be able to try is maybe put like a motivating note on the fridge so that like every time you walk past the fridge or maybe you go to get a drink or whatever, you'll see that note on the fridge. But again, same thing with the reminders. If you're gonna try a method like that, you're likely gonna need to change that note frequently, <laughs> like freshen it up, maybe change the color or whatever. 
but um, if you have the same note sitting on your fridge, you know how that is, it just kind of starts to become part of the background and you don't even notice it anymore. Um, so this is why I, I'm trying to start this new habit of clicking in that app, like making, cause you know how like, I don't know, some people, maybe it's just me, I'm sure other people must do this, but I don't know about everybody, depending on how much you use a cell phone for different um, productivity things, like I use it for banking, I use it for email, I'm always kind of going to check things. Um, so it's a habit for me to just pick up my phone and click. So that's why I feel like in my case, if I could develop the habit where I pick up the phone and I click immediately to that Strides app, and I look at that first, I feel like that could definitely be a good motivator for me that I could build a habit to check. So it's just trying to think of a way that you could remind yourself in the day um, in some way that's not gonna just blend into the background um, to kind of really keep that motivation up. Because usually you wanna do it and you will do it. it, it you, things just come up and then you, you get involved in your day and you lose that motivation. So it's kind of finding a way to like re-motivate yourself, remind yourself um, later in the day so that you can make sure um, you keep up. So um, that's really it. I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a motivator, I guess, on habits. I needed it. <laughs> Maybe some of you might. So um, that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to reach out to me at, at um, facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. Send me a message if you have any feedback or um, topic suggestions or anything like that. I would love to hear from you. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And um, also, don't forget to subscribe if you like this show. And if you would, would be kind enough to leave me a five-star rating, it would be super, super appreciated. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a really awesome day.